Hello everyone, it's me, Aqua, and today I'm looking at Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Penny Parker. Um, she looks really cute. I've been trying my best to get through all these Nandroid reviews, but I'm already starting to lose light, I think partially because of some clouds that are rolling in, so I'm going to film fast and hope it doesn't get any darker. Um, so yeah, let's look at the box. Oh my gosh, it's her poses are just so cute. I can't wait to get into it. And the box, again, looks gorgeous. I love how they've designed the boxes for these Spider-Verse and Androids. They look very nice. Oh, the design is just so good. It feels very Spider-Man. Um, this one's going to be a little interesting. I, I'll be honest, I wasn't super jazzed by Penny when I watched the movie. Um, she wasn't my absolute favorite, but she is very cute. Um, but her creation makes me really, really want, um, Spider-Noir and Spider, um, you know, Spider-Ham. She does already look so cute, though, and I haven't even taken off the packaging yet. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and unwrap the rest of her packaging real quick and then I'll get into it. Oh my gosh, this Nendroid might entirely sell me on Penny. We'll see. All right, so here is Penny Parker. Um, she comes with Penny herself, the Nendroid, two alternate face plates. Um, her robot, of course, which looks really cool. That, like, effect for the face, the head, is very nice. And then, um, an alternate faceplate for her robot. After Miles' two faceplates, getting essentially five faceplates for Penny, uh, not gonna lie, a little insulting, but, uh, she still looks very cute. Um, the backpack is also very cute. It even has a little hole so you can display her wearing the backpack. Um, and I also got out this gigantic pack, um, of her, the stand because there's one big stand for her robot, of course, one stand for her, and there's a ton of other pieces in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out and line them up. And I'm glad there are more arm pieces now that I'm really looking at it because, frankly... <laughs> Only having two straight arms and two open hands, that was going to be a little frustrating. There's not much I could do with that, but let me go ahead and open that up and line them up like I usually do. All right, so now I have everything lined up. Um, she comes with this adorable little uh, gum. Um, it's like a bubble, a gum bubble, which is really just getting me. It's so cute. I didn't know they package it that way, but it's nice. And it allows for yet another expression on Penny. Um, you could have her holding a phone. Um, or I think this might double as the, oh yeah, no, I think it's her phone, but I think it can double as her, like, technology, um, to help her with the robot. Um, a peace sign hand, which is very cute. I love it when they do peace signs and hearts and stuff as hands. I just think it's so cute. Um, a bent arm with a fist. Another bent arm with a fist, so you have more options. And then, like, these super bent arms, which I am looking forward to see how I'm supposed to use these. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get my first pose set up. Oh, I also mean to mention, they come with an extra um, ball joint, a clear ball joint, which is nice because there are so many on this, um, on the robot. Wow, there's so much detail. Anyway, there's so much on the robot, so if one breaks, you don't have to panic. They did give you an extra one, and they give you an extra neck peg, which again, I so appreciate that they started giving those out because people did break them so often. So this is the first pose I tried to do with her holding out her phone, um, doing the little peace sign. Um, and I had a lot of fun posing this robot, um, bending his legs so it looks like he's trying to get down on her level for the picture, putting his little hand on his knee, putting his arm out so it looks like he's putting his arm around Penny. 
I think that looks really cute and goofy. Um, honestly, they're a very cute pair. Oh, you can see the reflection of the window. Um, yeah, I... I really like this pose, actually. It's very cute, very lighthearted, just like Penny. Um, yeah, just kind of fun, and I actually really like the robot. Since her arms were already in this position, I went with the bubblegum blowing um, pose. I just couldn't wait. It just looks so cute. I love how she can just blow bubblegum. It's very fun and lighthearted. Um... Honestly, I think this is just based on the couple poses I've done already. This is probably the most lighthearted of the figures so far. She's very cute. Very fun. What's nice about this face in particular is not only does it work for that bubble pose, but it also kind of looks like she's shocked or bewildered. So I kind of set her up so that she's staring off into the distance maybe she sensed something with her spidey senses and now she's like looking out there to see what there is like what's about to happen and she has her fist clenched ready for action um you can also put her hand on her hip or just like by her side like oh what's going on and i like how naturally it kind of like wraps around her body to lay that way I like this pose too. She looks very serious and ready for action. She's got her hands on her hips. She's ready for anything. Um, I threw her backpack on too, which looks very cute in this pose. She's like so tough, but she's still wearing a cat backpack. Um, it's nice because you don't really have to rely on those straps. I mean, I don't know how you could, but it has a, a little hole that goes into her back so that when you put this on and it has a hole of its own you can put the stand still in the same place in her back and she can stand up just fine um yeah it's pretty cute i like how easy it was to do throwing in some poses of the robot he's got his arms stretched out legs in a running position which looks really cool actually and you could even have Penny, like, looking on in pride as he's running forward. So I guess this kind of gives you two Nendroids, too, like the other one. Just one happens to be a superposable robot <laughs> rather than a spider suit. Um, so I think that looks cool. I'm going to see if I can put him, the robot, in a Spider-Man pose. So if you have watched more than one video in this series, you will know I have been struggling with the Spider-Man pose Putting this robot, putting Penny's robot into the Spider-Man pose was probably the easiest Spider-Man pose of them all. And with that, I conclude that it is the posability, not necessarily the nendroidness of it. Um, granted, this isn't like a traditional nendroid, but there's so much more posability, the arms are much longer, and I think this looks more like any of the other spider- like, more like a Spider-Man pose than any of the other Spider-Men. And it is super easy to tweak into position, like, you can twist it this way, this way, there's tons of places where it swivels, um, to get the right, you know, the right pose. And I can see a lot of different poses being put into place with this. Now, they just need a villain to be able to fight. Anyway, I actually, I like this particular robot a whole lot more than I thought I would. I don't always like, you know, like, robots and androids, but this one was really cool. So while I'm talking about him, the little stickers on here that Penny has put on the robot are just too cute so I had to point them out um you can see here and here and here it's just adds that little bit of character to Penny being a high schooler you know um I just think that's so fun and it 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 humanizes you know this character a whole lot more specifically the robot it makes it so much more down to earth and I really like those little touches that they included so for the last pose I'm going to show you I use that last pair of arms where she's reaching up and holding her backpack straps with the winky face honestly this looks so cute and I think I like the backpack with this pose the best because it looks like she's holding it and running off to school just very cute um there's not a whole lot of posability in her legs but you know, that's okay, because she's 
there's so much posability in her robot that, you know, it kind of makes up for it. Um, this has been a really fun and enjoyed to review, actually, so I'm going to go ahead and put it down and give you my final thoughts. Important to note, because these straps go over her shoulders when, if you have this in Android, when putting on or taking off the backpack, I do recommend, like, removing her headpiece, then putting it on, then putting her head back on, because I think it just stays in place so much better that way, and it's much easier to come off, and you don't have to worry about breaking these very thin little straps, which I was worried about, because this last time I did try to take it off, and it gave just enough resistance that I was like, nope, not not even going to try it. Not happening. I have broken too many Nandroid pieces to not be cautious about that stuff. So for my fin final thoughts, I really like this Nandroid. I think Peter is still my favorite Nandroid, but Penny definitely has a place in my heart. Um, honestly, I think this Nendroid made me like the character even more than I already did. Because, um, like I said, I liked her, but she wasn't my favorite character of the Spider-Verse. But it was still very much a fun character and a very fun Nendroid to review. So, all in all, I definitely liked this figure um, I thought she was very cute. The face plates were really nice, and all the different poses I could do with the robot were so much fun. I definitely think I would display this one um, with the others. I think she looks really cute, really great, uh, unique, and, while still fitting that into the Spider-Verse style. Um, after this one, though, I'm really, really hoping that they come back and give us, like, Hobie and um, Puppeteer and... Um, all of the, like, Spider-Noir and Spider-Ham and all the other Nendroids from, or all the other characters from other s Into the Spider-Verse um, franchise, you know, films, because they're coming out with a third one, hopefully. Well, release date says March, but hopefully soon. Um, I don't know if it will be March but, because I'm sure it's a lot of work to do, but I definitely hope we get more characters because this is such a wonderful film franchise. I've enjoyed it so much, and I definitely enjoy these Nandroids. And it would be great to have a new updated Miles with more faceplates, please. All right, that's all I have to say. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and this is Aqua, signing out. Bye!